The two hardware components for our VLC system are comprised of an LED transmitter and a photodiode receiver. Our transmitter consists of a 3x3 LED array that is driven by an NIPXI chassis. The use of an optical lens allows for a more focused beam of light which increases our transmission distance. While a single LED can operate as a transmitter, we use nine LEDs to once again increase the transmission distance. Our system is designed to function as both a communication channel but also as a light source in a standard workroom environment. When the transmitter is not delivering any information over the channel, it acts as a light source which can be thought of as a desktop lamp or overhead lighting. When transmission occurs, there is no visible difference with respect to the human eye because of the high frequencies used in our system. The switching capabilities of our transmitter allow for data rates as high as 600 kilobits per second. However, maximum data rates are reached when the rise and fall time of the LED begins to overlap. Future transmitter designs may incorporate current driving circuits to decrease the rise and fall time of the LEDs, which will ultimately lead to higher data rates. The receiver hardware consists of a photodiode with two subsequent stages of amplification. Photodiodes operate under two states. Photovoltaic modes transfer input light intensity to proportional output voltage, while the photoconductive mode transfers input light intensity to proportional output current. Due to the inherent characteristics of photodiodes, the photoconductive mode was used for our high data rates. The receiver circuit shows the two stages of our amplification. The first stage uses a transimpedance amplifier, which converts the output current from the photodiode into a voltage. The next stage uses a voltage to voltage amplifier, whose output is then received by an NIPXI chassis. High pass filters were used to eliminate unwanted light stimulus from devices such as computer monitors and overhead lighting. Operational amplifiers were chosen with sufficient gain bandwidth product in order to accommodate our high data rates. 